Friday and I'm actually going to my workout with my trainer today. Um, usually it's on Wednesdays if you guys keep up with the vlogs, but my tummy was hurting on Wednesday and she so kindly was like, why don't we just switch it to Friday? And I said, perfect, it'll be a great way to start the weekend and we're just gonna have a whole little day. So I was packing my bag. You guys know I love to pack a bag for the day. That's what Brooke always says. She was like, you love to do that. I was like, I do. Because once I'm out, I'm out and then it's God. And then it's just so much easier to just stay out and do all the things I need to do. So, order of attack for today. Work out with my trainer. Then we're going to sauna at Chill House. I have a sauna membership there. I absolutely love it. It's so good to sweat and get all the toxins out and it's truly just so relaxing to me, honestly. And then we're just having a treat yourself day. I'm going to face gym and I'm getting a signature hands massage where they lymphatic massage your face. I haven't done it in so long. It's relaxing, it helps with like headaches. I've had like a headache this week. So yeah, and then we're gonna come home. And then I'm going to the dry bar. So we got a self-care day, a fun weekend ahead, and I'm really excited to take you guys along. I'm really stressed about what jacket I'm wearing because the weather, it's like 40 right now, but it's gonna get up to like 55 later. So I'm gonna go figure out my jacket, but I'm gonna bring you guys on my phone. Let's go. from my day of lovely self-care. I'm very grateful for that. Face gym was amazing. I'm so relaxed. I literally came back and read a little bit and now I'm just kind of getting my life together for the night. I want to do a little haul because I got some fun things today. Starting off with Zara. I just can't get enough leather jackets. I mean, obviously this is faux leather, but I loved this green color and I love the shoulder detailing, just everything about it. I got a size um, large and it makes me really happy and then this dress is so cute it fits really well too it has shoulder pads buttons all the way down the front and then the back has this really pretty open back i mean it needs to be steamed but you get the vibes got two of these um basic tops i just love that square neck and then they're cropped um just good to have spring is springing i feel it this would be really cute with a midi skirt or jeans, jean shorts, whatever. I'm just trying to like be more confident in showing my legs and stuff. And sometimes my outfits are very limiting. So I'm always like, oh, a midi skirt, a midi dress. I love this. This is actually a score. I tried it on. It feels great. I get a size medium. It's this uh, really pretty like beige colored skirt that I think would look really cute with tall boots. And even like this shirt or something like that. And then from Aritzia, I got two basic tees. They're ribbed. I love a ribbed tee. They're so soft, so comfortable. I got a size medium as well. Um, so I got black and gray. And I think these would look really good just with like jean shorts, sweatpants, jeans, cargos, the list goes on. Um, so yeah, that's my little haul. Working through some laundry right now. I literally, like I said, I got into bed when I came back and read because I'm literally 
Guys, I'm so obsessed with this book right now, The Housemaid. I'm already 67%, I think, through, and I only started it a couple days ago, and that's a lot for me, so I'm loving that. But yeah, I'm putting, I'm slowly putting laundry away. I have, like, a lot of loads of laundry. Um, those are still washed, which is, like, so bad of me. Like, hopefully, okay, it doesn't smell bad, but I, <laughs> they've just been sitting all day. So I need to get these out of the dryer. Um, and I also need to take a shower. Yeah. Okay, I just showered, washed my hair. We're about to go to the dry bar, getting my hair blown out. I've been washing my hair at home instead because I just have so many amazing products and it actually goes quicker when I get there. So yeah, we're going to dry bar. I love going to dry bar on Fridays or just, I don't know, whenever I can before the weekend because then your hair is done for the weekend, which is so lovely. Um, I started folding my laundry. Ah, I love the sound. And by the sound, I mean the sound of folding laundry. This is what I'm wearing to the dry bar. I'm just wearing this brown skins bra. Princess Polly, just like brown zip up. Kind of matches, kind of a vibe. It's like annoyingly cold out today though. And then Nike sweats, I couldn't be bothered. And then I'm just gonna put on some sneakers. But yeah, today was lovely. Face feels nice and drained. Um, I truly just love going to the face gym. I haven't gone in a while. I don't think I've gone since December. Um, but yeah, I do need to spray my hair with some leave-in conditioner before I, so it's detangled for them. Um, and then I, I let them use the products there as well. Tonight I have some fun plans going to dinner and drinks with my friend Seb Collier and then Delaney. It's kind of like a bestie double date because Seb and Collier are really good friends and like I'm really good friends with them now but like they were really good friends in college etc and like so we're me and Delaney so love a moment like that we're going to this place called downtown social any Charleston girlies that are watching or if you've been to Charleston you went to uptown social the same company opened up one here but it's called downtown social and it's in East Village and I am seriously so excited because literally when I went to Charleston one time we pretty much went to uptown social every night like that was our favorite spot. I don't know if that's like the touristy place. Knowing me, it probably is. But I'm really excited to check out Downtown Social in East Village. They apparently have, I think, cover bands every night, or at least they have a cover band tonight. I confirmed because I love a cover band. Who is she? Um, so yeah, it should be a fun night. Friday night out. And yeah, I've had the best day to myself. I'm very, very thankful. I love this Tangle Teaser brush. But I like to use my wet brush. I always forget when my hair is wet. Someone's cringing watching this. I try to be gentle with my hair. But anyways, that's what's up. Okay, I'm back now. And when I was getting my hair done, I was looking for outfit inspo on Pinterest. Love this moment for dinner tonight, I mean. Also love this. Just like I could wear my new leather jacket that I got from Zara. I don't know. Just like I don't have as long of a skirt like that. It's a little shorter, so it might be cold, actually. I love this. I don't have the makings for this outfit, but I do love that. I mean, you can always make it your own, of course. Oh, and I liked this, like the cargos with the blazer. Because this place we're going, I feel like, is more casual. So I feel like jeans could be a vibe. I don't know. But that's my inspo for tonight. Okay, makeup is done. Really happy with how it turned out. Now I'm trying to figure out the outfit. My friend Seb's coming over here. She wants to borrow one of my tops. And this is outfit trial number one. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna work. So I have this white tube top on from Revolve. It's from Maggie's collection. And then, oh, this is like coming off. This jacket that I got today at Zara. I think my denim skirt, I don't know. I feel like it's too short, unfortunately, and that's on me. Um, like for this vibe I'm going for. I really like this skirt. It fits perfectly. It's actually from Gap or Old Navy. I forget which one. I think from the Gap. And then the black boots from Vince Camuto. But I don't... Something's just not doing it for me. And I think it's the length of the skirt. So something's gotta give, you know? Okay, I'm liking where we're going. So this was the other outfit I saw on Pinterest anyways. The cargo pants with 
the blazer, but I'm not even doing a blazer. So you know what? Sometimes you just need to look at Pinterest and be like, wait, I actually have something like that. So this is one of the tops I got today at Zara. I'm obsessed. I also got it in black. Am I too old to be wearing crop tops? Because I still like crop tops. I actually don't answer that because I still like crop tops. I, cause I, I only say that because I saw this TikTok and it was like making your outfits more mature and like wearing like longer things like this, but in long version, which I do. Like I bought those long um, t-shirts today. I don't know. Whatever. Pants. Obsessed the way they fit. They have like a little elastic in the back, which is nice. They're from Free People. I will link them on my like to know it. I literally love these jeans so much. We are going to... I'm just probably going to do like a simple black booty. And then my Zara jacket. It's like 50 degrees, so this should be fine. Hopefully it won't be outside too much. Don't really know where my evening's taking me. Okay, this is going to be an issue because the loop keeps like coming through, but... I'll fix that in a second. Um, you guys get the vibes. I think this is perfect, truly. Um, I'm happy with it. I love the cargos, and then I'll just do black boots and maybe a black bag to tie it all together, or a white shoulder bag, and we'll be off. So yeah, like I said, we're going to Downtown Social. I'm very excited about it, to have some drinks with some girly pops, love a Friday night girly dinner. And yeah, we have a fun weekend ahead. I have no plans tomorrow during the day. I think Ryan and I are going to attempt to like do like a, a, a proper sit down breakfast. And then I just got a piece of furniture that I want to build that I'm actually going to put right there. A little small storage cabinet, nothing crazy. So let's hit the town. I just walked back. That was so much fun. I literally loved it so much. I'm so tired. I had like three drinks and I feel like I'm like fine. But it was so much fun. I will be going back there. Ryan would literally love that place. I met so many subscribers tonight. It was so like I literally felt like I was in college in the best way. Like everyone was my age but like like all the guys were wearing like I don't know. I felt like I was in the south. It was really funny. Um, in the best way. The cover band was amazing. Didn't stay long enough to see the DJ because the DJ was supposed to go on at 11.30 but the band was like crushing it. So they kept going and we kind of, none of us had intentions of staying out super late tonight because we were all pretty tired. But it was so much fun. We got the, some good dancing in. Shout out Shreya. I met her on the street walking back and she was so funny guys she literally i was facetiming ryan because usually if i'm like walking back late at night i'll like call or facetime him because he like wants me to and i just makes the time go by faster and then something happened to me i'm on facetime with someone everyone does that anyways i meet this girl Tran, we're talking and she's like i've actually met other youtubers before i was like oh my god that's so funny like who whatever and she literally grabs my phone and mutes my camera, or like mutes my FaceTime and goes, I actually met Joey Kidney, who's my actual boyfriend. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, she's like, yeah, I went to one of his meetups in Montreal or something. And then like unmuted Ryan again, so Ryan didn't, so Ryan could hear again, but he couldn't hear that part. It was, I don't know. I thought it was really funny and savage and amazing, so yeah. Oh, by the way, I ended up switching my jacket to this Zara jacket, which is literally the same thing, but in bomber form pretty much. So yeah, I'm just sitting here taking all my jewelry off. I'm literally, who am I, tur I'm turning into Brooke Michio. I was so excited to come back home and read my book. <laughs> Ryan has a work call tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. So we were like, let's just not, like I don't really wanna wake up early tomorrow. So we're gonna get breakfast in the morning and then hopefully I'm gonna convince him to help me build this piece of furniture tomorrow. Uh, and then just like chill and then tomorrow night is gonna be a fun night So I'm gonna get into bed. I'm gonna read housemaid And I'm just gonna be the happiest person in the world. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys I literally had an alarm set for 10 to sleep in today And I woke up at 8 30 and I was like, you know what an opportunity to read my book I finished it. This book was so good. If you read the last mrs. Parish, it's kind of that vibe And it was little I finished it in a week. That's the fastest I've read a book in a minute 
Uh, but I'm also a slow reader. This is my first words of the day, if you can't tell. I just put on some jazz music. I'm like, oh my God, that book was so good. There's a sequel. And I'm like, do I just get after it? But I also have an Ellen Hildebrand book I want to read. I just turned on some jazz. I'm gonna make myself a little cup of coffee. Ryan and I said we'd go to breakfast at 10.30, which is soon. But I like still need to start my day with a cup of decaf coffee. So that's precisely what we are going to do. Delightful. Gotta love a good cuppa. It's raining out, but it's like so cozy. My jazz playing, I'm kind of vibing with it. Okay, I literally just made a TikTok about this, but my hair, I just don't, like I have an event tonight, an event, my friend's birthday, but, and I don't like want my hair to get rainy and I don't want to touch my, I don't want my hair to touch the oils on my face. So often I will use sunglasses as a, oh, sunglasses as a headband. Um, I really hope I'm not the only one. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Um, I'm about to go meet Ryan for breakfast. The goal is breakfast by Salt's Cure, but you can't make reservations. Sweet boy went at 8.30 today to put our name down. And I was like, Ryan, there's going to be no line then. And they're going to like try and seat you. He's like, no, but like for later. And I was like, they don't take reservations. But he went and they, I was right. But it was sweet. So I'm not going to like stop him from making that effort. Um, anyway, so if the line is raining, so maybe the line won't be long. Outfit, I'm wearing the Aritzia long sleeve onesie jumper situation. APL sneakers, Lululemon um, belt bag, and then I'm gonna wear a rain jacket because it's only, it's like 50, it's like getting up to 69 today, I think is what I heard. So yeah, I'm just gonna wear my light rain jacket that I wore the other day. And we'll see where the day takes us. I'm hoping to just do breakfast and then come back here and clean my apartment, but I'm all here for a planless Saturday, as Eli Rollo says, so we shall see. Welcome to my hallway. We are back from breakfast. It was so good. We went to Market Table in West Village. Breakfast by Salt's Cure indeed had a line, so we didn't go. Um, it was so lovely, and then we walked around Soho a little bit after. He had work to do, and I, since it's like kind of rainy outside, it was like perfect day to lock myself in here and get shit done. So my hallway is just overflowing. Some of this will stay because I'm, I'm donating clothes tomorrow. So or on Monday, so I'm like collecting, so I was like, okay, let me make sure I'm donating everything I want to before, you know, like I wanna clean out everything. I also have all this like, like this is my makeup bag, I do my makeup from every day, but then I have all this random stuff, like I like to switch up my products as I go, but I have all these drawers, and I wanna go through them because I <laughs> sadly recently learned, if you guys didn't know this, on the back of all makeup, it says somewhere like it's, X, so this says 12M, so that means 12 months. And there's just some stuff in here that's way over 12M. It's probably like 36M. So I'm going to go through my makeup, see what I can recycle, throw away, all of that. Um, and then I have a couple things that I tried on last night that I need to hang up. Um, I have something I need to return. And my reward for returning it will be I get to get myself a nice coffee. So, But I need to bring that to the package store. Um, what else? Oh, and then I have a couple things folded over there from laundry that I need to put away. My clothes from last night that I just didn't feel like hanging up because I was so tired and I wanted to finish my book, which as we know I did. And then I have one load of laundry left in here to fold, but I'm just going to put it on um, touch up so that they're like a little bit warm and a little less wrinkled. I always do that. And yeah, would like to clear off my counter. This is all very lofty. I'm not holding myself to all of this, but that's the goal. I also have some leftovers from breakfast, so when I get hungry, I'll have my other half of my eggs, Benny. Um, yeah, let's start the day. So I just was opening a package and I was like, wait, this looks like it could be a photo. I'm assuming it was my dad that sent me this. It's so sweet, it's a photo from the Gals in the Go live show of my family.
feeling super good. I just went through like my face stuff. So now when I like, I'm like, oh, I want to try a new blush. Okay. Like, it's so easy. I like went through all of my eyes stuff. Like some of my mascaras were literally dry. I have been wanting to try this Rare Beauty highlight in this color, Enlighten. I have it. I didn't even know. Like, it's crazy what just going through will do for you. And I put my essentials for, like, getting ready in here. So I have my lash stuff for my lash gel. Laneige lip mask. Uh, moisturizer. Some serum. And then, like, body makeup. Hair clips headband. Love that. So amazing. And I actually just invited Delaney over because I was like, she might want to go through some of these clothes before I donate them. So she was like, I'm literally coming right now. So she's walking over. And she's going to go through my clothes, and I have, like, some PR products and stuff that she could take. So, yeah, and I'm just going to keep trekking all the way. I was like, I'm still going to be cleaning, but you're welcome to come. And she was like, I'm there. I also am about to try this on because I've had this set for so long. And I have Bridget and Danielle's birthday party tonight. There's no theme or anything, but I know they're going to look super chic. And I want to wear a cute fit. And I have this set. Like, look how cool that cutout is with a skirt. Like I said, trying to wear more skirts with, like, these. Like, that set with, like, oh, my God, I just got these tall boots from Amazon. That'd be cute. Or, like, obviously these would be a moment with, like, a black trench. But we'll see how I like how this looks on me. Guys, Delaney just came. She went to the Union Square Market, brought me flowers. They're so perfect. I need to put them in a vase, like, ASAP. And I was like, oh, can you get farm me some fresh farm fresh eggs and some sourdough? I do appreciate Did you get anything for yourself or no? No. Oh my god. Well, thank you so much. Guys, look at this sexy sourdough. <laughs> what I do is I cut half of it. This is only my second time doing it. What I do when I get my fresh sourdough, I cut half of it, put it one half in the freezer, and then this is like the side I eat. All right, we're still in our cleaning hole, going through under my sink, and I'm like trying to organize it because I never showed this, but when I would open it, everything didn't come out, but it was just on top of each other. So here are all my like hairspray, heat protect and stuff like that. These are all dry shampoos and then like my leave-in conditioners, self tanning product, like European wax center stuff. And then I have like some extra face washes and my steamer, my water pick and other random stuff I'm going through. Okay guys, so much progress is happening. I'm so happy with how under my sink looks right now. And like this just looks so clean. Just replaced a fresh Brooklyn and towel. Gals in the go bundle, always linked down below by the way. Comes with this robe, two towels and, um, and the pink sheets. And then I was just kind of organizing and putting everything in this area for my shower, going through my products here. Might as well turn on, where's the remote? Oh. I'm gonna turn on the candles, my little fake candles. I also am thinking of doing a wash of my whites. So white shower mat, white, um, like my hand washing thing, and then my shower curtain. Shower curtain is Brooklyn in as well, fun fact, I love it. And Delaney just got a big haul. You found some good stuff? Is this your pile? Yes. I love it, oh, I'm so excited for you. Okay, I just took off my shower curtain stuff like that, and we are going to wash them. Um, by the way, I always, if it's all white stuff, I put in this Branch Basics Oxygen Boost that, like, whitens and brightens. Um, so I have that, and I was like, what other white things could I just put in here? So I have these sneakers, because I always like to wash sneakers with, like, towels so it's not as loud. And then my APLs that I wear to work out, because they just get dirty so easily, so... A very satisfying feeling a part of me wants to do my slippers too but is that too many pairs of shoes i don't know let's just do it let's just send it get the whole gang in there and feels good to just oh i love a spring cleaning moment that's just what today has turned into truly and yeah that's that I was just washing my sheets for my air mattress because last minute my dad's going to come for a couple days next week, which I'm really excited about because he's off and I was like, you should come up and visit. So getting all that ready for him, put my next book that I'm going to read by my nightstand, Five Star Weekend. I'm so excited. Ellen sent me an advanced copy. I'm very honored. And it's like, I haven't read a real book in so long. So cause usually I read in the dark. Um, and then I'm going to read the sequel to Housemaid, but I think I'm going to... Uh, 
I don't know what I'm saying, but you know, split between the two and read this in between those. I cannot speak. All right, guys, I'm headed out into the world with no jacket on. Unheard of in this time. This is crazy. Delaney's headed out too, but I'm gonna see her later. I'm gonna go return this package and then get a fun little beverage of some sort and pick up garbage bags and tape because you guys need to know that and I'll see you later. <laughs> Okay, it is definitely like really freaking nice outside. I'm glad I went into my errands. I did my return, rewarded myself a little iced decaf latte. Everyone is outside right now. Like I walked outside and I was like, why have I been inside all day? I always plan my days wrong. Like I, it was raining this morning, so I'm like in a cleaning hole and then everyone's like out like on fields and shit doing cute things. But I'm hoping tomorrow will be similar because I have plans with a friend tomorrow to like walk along West Side Highway. So hopefully it's same vibe tomorrow. I stopped by Citarella, which is like a very, it's a bougie grocery store. Um, I do love it a lot. And I just picked up some fresh produce because I'm like not traveling for like a very hot minute. So it feels nice to, I don't know, to get groceries and not be like, oh, they're gonna go bad. Lots of fresh produce, got some more blueberries. My favorite apples are red delicious apples. I feel like they're not the most nutritious apples of them all, but I just love them the most. And then I got more avocados because obviously, oh, I, again, forgot to get tortilla shells because I want to make breakfast tacos. I got more half and half. That's what I put in my coffee in the morning. I got some green beans because sometimes I'll just, like, if I have, like, rice and beans in my pantry, or my pantry, my cabinet, I will do, like, rice beans, green beans. I got one tomato that literally already is exploding. And then I got this. It just looked so lovely. Tomato mozzarella to either have today like right now as a snack or tomorrow. But I also still have ingredients and I need to make it like now to make tomato and cucumber salad. It's so good. I literally have cilantro and parsley in my fridge and like red wine vinegar and stuff. So I really should probably do that today before the ingredients go bad. But I also have this. And I also have a few more things I wanna get done and I'm in like productive mode. So I'm gonna sit on my computer, get the computer stuff done because pretty much all the physical, physical labor you know what I mean? Like the cleaning stuff is done. It's today wasn't like a like a deep clean. It was like a clean out, which I highly suggest doing. I do this all the time, but today was randomly like a really big one. Like when you're going through the products and stuff, that's like the best feeling. So I'm trying to decide. Like I really need to make that cucumber stuff. We'll see. I'll either have this as a pre-dinner snack. I'm going to dinner tonight with friends. So I didn't really have lunch. Like I just had my, I had my second English muffin and I had a banana. Anyways, that's my little Cinderella haul. I'm in an extremely good mood. Like nothing like walking around with fresh groceries and a coffee on a sunny Saturday. Like big boost of serotonin for sure. Um, no complaints here. And my, my favorite doorman is here and he just gave me life. Like I just love today. Today's a good day, even though I've spent most of it inside. I just feel so good that, like, coming back into my apartment, I was like, oh my god, it's so clean. Next, I need to, like, vacuum and stuff, but maybe that'll be tomorrow's journey. It's not today's. We are ready for the night. It started raining, so my outfit changed. I was gonna wear that little mini skirt, and it did fit, and it was cute, but I just, it's raining, and I wanna be a little bit more able to dance and move and all that, because I forgot the skirt had like these holes, so you can't wear underwear, it's like a whole thing. But I'm happy with my outfit and my makeup. Um, top is Meow, it's, I have this corset in brown too. It's seriously so flattering. Jeans. Some people don't like when I do this, but I do. So 
These jeans are the Abercrombie Curve Love, of course. And then boots are Vince Camuto. I like the slouch tuck-in look. I think it's so chic. And then I'm just going to wear a black trench over top. We are headed to dinner. I'm going to dinner with Katie. Not Brooke. She's in Mexico. Margo, Delaney, and Ryan. And then we're all going to Bridget and Danielle's birthday party tonight. So I'm so excited. I'm calling my Uber now. Their birthday party is at this place called Eves, I think. Y-V-E-S. Um, and that's in Tribeca, so we're going to dinner in Tribeca at this place called Smith Tavern that I've been wanting to try. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be a little tough to get an Uber since it's raining. So I'm going to call, oh my god, four minutes away. I guess we have to do that. Oh, anyways, I'm so excited for the night, and I will take you guys along with me. Do not worry. She was right. Hi guys. Good morning guys. It's Sunday morning and just got up. I'm having a jumpsuit weekend or onesie weekend. Last night was so, so much fun. Um, and I collected two matchbooks. I got Eve's, which is where they had their birthday party. It was such a great venue. I would still have a birthday there. And then Smith Tavern, where we went to dinner. Look how cute. So I need to um, add it to the matchbox that Ryan got me for Christmas. If you guys haven't seen. Oh. Good job, Danielle. Oh, there they go. Um, but yeah, last night was a blast and a half, truly. And it was really fun. Like, I don't even have much to say other than that. Like, saw so many of our friends. I would so go back to um, Dirty French. Or, Dirty French. I'm putting that matchbook up right now. I would so go back to... Um, Smith Tavern in Tribeca again. The vibes were so right. So we'll put that in the matchbook. And yeah, I need to reorganize this later, but that's a later problem. Um, wow, I'm like getting close to filling it up. It's so, it's like thrilling now when I go to a restaurant or anywhere and I see that they have matchbooks and Delaney started collecting them too since she's moved here. So we'll be like, look, we're like tag teaming it. But Ryan and I are gonna go to this place that I've been wanting to go because my friend Emma posted there and it literally looks so good called Rigger Hill Market and it's in Tribeca. So we're having a Tribeca weekend because we were there all last night and they have these egg sandwiches. The egg is like thick and it looks good. Oh wait, is this jacket too astronauty? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell how I feel about it. <laughs> Should I switch jacket? I feel like nah, I, keep it. You'll you want a marathon. I know, but it's not Sunday vibes. You know? <laughs> I'll do this instead. More Sunday energy. I didn't just win a marathon. I didn't get the aluminum foil blanket. So yeah, here's the fit. My sneakers I washed yesterday. We're gonna take the train there, I think. And we're gonna go. Check this out. Ryan, also you made yourself a cup of coffee and it's still over there. Right. There's people on the roof. People on the roof, it's roof weather. just hit like oh my god looks like I'm in like heaven right now it's so bright <laughs> filled up the good old Stanley the sandwich was so worth it. it was so good and then we walked all the way back from Tribeca dropped him off at his place I came to mine he had work to do and now I'm dead I have plans to like hang out slash go for a walk with 
my friend, um, but no, I'm just like that. But it's so nice out. I hate when it's nice out because then you're like, I should be outside. But I'm just tired. Um, I just got off the phone with Delaney. We were both like FaceTiming. Like we were like on the couch together. It was really funny. But I think I'm gonna start this book. I'm in my reading era. The Ellen Hildebrand Five Star Weekend. I'm so honored. It literally says on here, um, like advanced reading copy. It's so cool. And my mom got me this bookmark for Christmas. And I, in my head I was like, oh my gosh, I don't read real books, but I am. It's so cool, you like put it on the page that you're trying to save. So, so I'm gonna read, I just lit a candle. I need, to, it's a wash sheets day. So I'm gonna do the sheets and just enjoy my Sunday really. I'm waiting to hear back from my friend on like what we're doing. But, yeah. Wanna be in my vlog? Just wave. Hey. Hello guys. Uh, sometimes you just gotta get up and moving. Well, I've done two long walks today. Uh, I'm like so hot. Let me get this off. Now that I think of it, um, so I read for a little bit. I chatted with a friend from college. We caught up and then I met up with my friend Mary Steven. And we went for a walk on along West Side Highway. And now the weather's getting better. I'm like gonna try and make it a goal to do that either on Saturday or Sunday of the weekend because one, I like saw people I knew, which is always fun. You're like, hey, it's like a social thing. It reminds me of in Bridgerton when you go to promenade. Like everyone's just walking and everyone's so beautiful and and it was so nice out and Mary Steve and I hadn't done like a friend download in so long where it's like what's up with you what's up with me she gave me really good advice about things in my life I gave it back to her we both left being like I'm so happy we did this and it's just so nice especially like we were both very aligned like we wanted to be active today we wanted to do something so it's always nice to have a friend and now we're like okay you're my Sunday buddy like I know you're gonna be down to like go for a walk or like push me to do something a little bit um and yeah, I'm back now. Why was I walking over here? Beats me. Beats me. It's safe to say I'm in for the night. It's like five o'clock. I'm gonna make myself some food and just, oh, I forgot I put my sheets in the washer. I stripped my bed and I'm gonna put them in the dryer now. The whole thing, I am literally gonna make this tomato cucumber salad. Like it's happening. I was gonna go to the grocery store and like get stuff to make dinner because like tomato cucumber salad I mean it's like there's just no like protein or anything but I think I'm just gonna like do a what's in my fridge situation and cook random stuff so I'm gonna do tomato cucumber salad because I have those ingredients and I'll show you guys I just found the recipe on Pinterest oh my god the cilantro and parsley smells so good like I'm sorry if you're one of those people that cilantro tastes like soap because, oh my god. Oh wait, that was the parsley. Wait, they actually, oh, I hope they didn't go bad. I'm like, wait, that actually doesn't smell like the cilantro I know. Damn it. Ugh, you hate to hear that. But anyways, it's cilantro, parsley, cucumber, tomato, red onion with like red wine vinegar and you like mix it all up and it's this delicious thing. I get it when I go to 12 chairs in New York. And then I also like have these green beans so I can cook that up. I think I always have like couscous so I could like do something, you know, like a little Mediterranean moment. But my herbs have gone bad and I just don't think I want to, I mean, maybe the parsley has it. I don't remember what parsley is supposed to smell like but the cilantro does not, it's not cilantroing. I'm like, yeah, no. No, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cook. F it, we are gonna go to the grocery store. I haven't taken my shoes off yet because this recipe just looks fire flames and I think I actually need more tomatoes, so it's totally fine. I am so okay. We're gonna go get some more herbs. Or, or is that considered an herb? Cilantro and parsley? I feel like yeah. Um, and then we're gonna cook, okay? I'm listening to Luke Combs' new album. I was with Margo last night and she was like, are you going to Luke Combs in Tampa? And I didn't even think, because Luke Combs 
goodbye. This is so sad. I wish I composted. Um, Luke Holmes isn't coming to New York on this tour, but he's going to Tampa, and I'm going to Tampa for Fourth of July, and then he's coming to Tampa on the eighth, and I'm like, should I stay in Tampa and then go to the Luke Combs concert? Probably. I got more tomatoes, and then I stopped by Press Juicery. I started chugging this one already. I love the Greens Two and the Greens Three. The Greens Three has ginger. The Greens Two doesn't. But I figured I should get some juice, and then I got more hummus. Um, my dad's newest health thing with me is to not eat things with seed oils, because seed oils can like, you know, they just don't have, they're just not good for you, I don't know. He sent me this whole article, but I just have him tell me what to eat and not to eat. Um, so like, obviously canola oil isn't great to be an ingredient, stuff like that, but then also like sunflower seed oil, some other oil, and like the hummus that I have been eating has that, and I was like, you know what, I found this one. I think it's like local to New York because it comes from New Jersey, but like the ingredients are very simple. It's like chickpeas, water, roasted red peppers, tahini, apple cider vinegar, garlic, sea salt. So that's like pretty plain and simple. And then when I looked at the hummus I've been eating, just because I'm eating so much hummus right now, like I'm not going to like nitpick everything, but like since I eat a lot of hummus, I want to make sure I'm putting good into my body. And I guess my dad just did all this research on seed oils in particular. So yeah, that's my little dad's fact of the day for you guys. But now I have all the ingredients. I have my fresh um, cilantro. Now I really smell it, oh my god. And parsley, and I'm gonna make it. Basically just chop everything up. You make the sauce, it's pretty simple. Um, yay. We did it, you guys. I made tomato cucumber salad. Um, I will link the recipe below, but basically, I mean, you can see all the ingredients chopped up here together, but then I added the red onion and then, um, Olive oil mixed with red wine vinegar. Oh, uh, I forgot to add the dried oregano. It's because I was FaceTiming my friends at the same time. Is it too late? Because I like, I feel like it's too late to add. Eh, I'll add some oregano. Um, and then garlic. And I try a little piece. It's so good. And then I'll probably make some more things later. I mean, I just don't think this will be like, like there's no protein, you know. But it's so tasty so i'm gonna make this in a bowl and then i'll have some for tomorrow as well and then i'll probably make some like couscous or something but yummy yay this is so random but i'm making couscous and then i was like i need like a protein so i have these chicken breasts from trader joe's that i just microwaved i know this like doesn't make sense but i'm gonna like chop it up and mix it with the couscous so i have some protein in there as well and then i'll add a little bit more salad on the side it's a little bit later and i was like i'm still hungry so oh all good to go. I have the CMT Awards on too. Watching that. I love a Sunday evening. I truly, truly do. Um, Go Meg. She just won an award. Uh, that's so exciting. Go dogs. Just finished watching the CMT Awards. I'm in my Brooklyn in robe, of course. We're going to go prep my bedroom. Prep the bedroom. <laughs> Um, because my sheets are done. Well, I'm saying that, but hopefully, yes, they're done. We'll do pink again this week, because we love Brooklyn and bundles always linked below. Yeah, I'm gonna make my bed and get into bed. And I'm excited for the week ahead. The weather, oh my God, that all rhymed. The weather is gonna be so good, and I just have all this like, fitness and active things planned and just and my dad's coming this week which I'm really excited about he happens to have off this week and I was I don't know something in me was like you should come so he's coming for two nights Tuesday through Thursday and it'll be so fun by the time this vlog's up um he already came but yeah so I'm gonna end the vlog here it was such a lovely weekend a very I like when my weekends are well-rounded like this, so I'm very thankful, and I love you guys. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you guys next Wednesday for my next video. Bye!